Sean here from Spots Music, SpotsMusic.com, and I'm here to talk about something I think most of us experience at some point, one or another, and that is songwriter's block. And it's, you know, like writer's block, but in specifics to songs, you have a couple different things coming at you. You have lyrical content coming at you where you, it's easy to get stuck on lyrics, and then you have musical content, and musical content is completely separate issue to deal with and sometimes you have a problem with one sometimes you have a problem with the other sometimes you have a problem with both at the same time so different strategies to help fight with that so where do you even begin you don't know how to write you don't know where to proceed you don't know anything what is the next move i've got five strategies here to help you combat songwriter's block so the first of my strategies I want to talk about is learning something new so whenever I run into a roadblock of sorts and I just can't seem to get past it the first thing I think in my head is I need to learn something new something to spark me something anything so you can learn maybe some different chord positions in the instrument you're trying to work on think of different styles that works vocally and musically there's a lot of different types of music out there so there's so many different types of techniques that can fold into what you're doing even in your own genre and just spark a whole different world of creativity for you another great tool for learning something new is something completely non-musical something creative something in the same vein like painting or photography sometimes just trying a different outlet will help you see things from a different perspective and it might get the gears turning and get something going again my second strategy for dealing with songwriters block try writing about something that's inspiring to you like a movie or a comic book just anything that can that's a different creative outlet that you've seen and it's just inspired you famously you have coheed and cambria who uh put out comic books along with their music so they uh use two different creative outlets i think whenever you're writing a comic book um it gives you something to play off of so like just even like kind of that character writing kind of mindset really plays into things looking into your friends lives um sometimes not a lot of interesting things are happening in my own life but i look in some of my friends situations and there's unique things that i can see and write about oftentimes you can find online you'll find contests contests give you a certain set of parameters to follow and sometimes having a certain set of parameters to kind of guide you will get something sparked and you never know your favorite song you've ever written might come out of just a contest entry so scan the internet look for something to do my third strategy for dealing with songwriters block would be try changing your environment so maybe being stuck in the same corner of your you have a specific place you go to write going into your studio or whatever maybe that's just not working for you right now so maybe try going out into the world go to the park take your guitar with you or your your whatever your instrument is sometimes being in a more relaxed environment a more open environment will allow you to relax a little bit and get some gears turning or maybe even just seeing something in a busier environment might spark you just like human exchanges and different things you never know inspiration comes in the strangest of places my fourth strategy for dealing with songwriters block revisit your old material i know one thing that i like to do whenever i've pushed myself for a week or two and I'm just like all right nothing's coming out I'm not writing anything I then just tell myself okay go back to some of your old material look for something that you haven't thought of before try and improve something you've already done look for a better word flow or a better chord progression or just look for anything you can do to add into your old songs sometimes you end up in a place where you're completely writing something new because of that or you end up with a song that you're even more happy with in the end but either way it's a good to go back sometimes you have you know some of the old catalogs you go back in and you find songs that you hadn't finished yet and suddenly those that one paragraph of words that you have sparks your interest again and you can just write a whole song out of that now so going back and revisiting things that you've done in the past can really spark you and i think by doing all of these things it kind of leads you into my fifth point and that would be take the pressure off Ultimately, whenever you take the pressure off yourself, that's when inspiration comes. Whenever you're trying to force yourself to be creative, if you, you can't get frustrated, you can't get mad, you just have to accept it. It comes sometimes when it comes and it goes sometimes when it goes. And putting pressure on yourself is not going to help that situation. So sometimes going back into that realm of I'm going to try painting or I'm going to just do something different, I'm going to visit the old songs, taking that pressure off can just be enough of a relief that 
the songs just come out of you. So that is my five strategies for combating songwriter's block. If you have any strategies of your own that you'd like to share down in the comments below, that would be awesome because everybody can always use them and there is a never ending amount of things that you can suggest. So I'd love to hear them. Keep following up with any of these videos. You can like us, subscribe, follow us, Spots Music Center. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.